So The Amazing Digital Circus Episode 3 came out, and I have my thoughts and my feelings about it, so spoiler ahead. Kinger saying that the worst thing that you can do when you're in the circus is making somebody feel like they aren't cared for or loved or appreciated hints towards the fact that that's the reason why his wife abstracted in the first place. From what I can tell, it seems like Queenie's only reason for continuing to go on in the circus and the only reason she hadn't abstracted long ago was because of Kinger. Whether it was because of some need to hang on for his sanity, or because it was the only way that she could stay sane, whatever it ended up being. And somehow along the way, Kinger did something, likely on accident, that made Queenie or Queener feel like she wasn't appreciated or loved or cared for. And if she didn't have Kinger, then there was no reason to go on, which she probably extracted because of. In her last moment, she probably wanted to apologize to Kinger and say, I'm sorry that I couldn't hang on. I'm sorry that I couldn't stay sane long enough for you. I'm sorry that I can't be here for you to hold on to because I understand that, you know, we're here together, and as long as we're together, we'll be fine. But if I'm not here, will you be okay? And I'm sorry, I have to go. I also have a theory that sometime coming around the finale, Kinger is going to either abstract or he's going to get close to abstracting, and Pomni's going to remember that the dark helps him and then save him that way. The other interesting thing from the episode was the conversation that Kane and Zubel had. I'm very glad that we got a little bit more of Zubal. When I heard that Zubal wasn't going to participate in the third episode as well, I got concerned that Zubal was just going to be a character that, like, never did anything ever. So I'm glad we actually got to the bottom of it and to the root of the issue, and I'm glad that we got a little bit of a look into what Kane actually is. I think what's really interesting is supposedly Kane cares about all the people inside of the circus, but he only cares about those people to the extension of he needs them inside of the circus in order to continue functioning as he always has. The only purpose that he has is to create adventures for the people inside of the Amazing Digital Circus, and if the adventures that he creates are not good, then he has no purpose and he might abstract or something even worse. But if he truly actually loved and cared about the people that were inside of the Amazing Digital Circus, he would let them go. But he can't, because if he lets them go, then he can't exist either. I think it's very interesting to view this warped idea of loving and caring about people from Kane's perspective, because he has shown that he at least cares a little bit about the people inside of the circus. I mean, he's willing to change the, like vibe of an entire adventure to fit what Zubo wants so that Zubo can join in on the adventures, but he only cares about the people inside the circus to the extent of them being able to fulfill the purpose that he has. Also, final small note, I think Jack's turning around and saying, now what do you, the audience, think has a lot of really neat implications? Anyways, see you later.